In our oceans lie the biggest mysteries of our world. It's one of the reasons why divers are fascinated with the bottom of the ocean. And it's due to their relentless submerging in the darkest depths of our seas that we've made some of the most bizarre discoveries. These span from shipwrecks that were deemed forever gone to entire submerged cities that we didn't even know about. Stay close to explore with us the 10 most exciting discoveries made by deep sea divers. Shipwreck of San Jose For centuries, nobody knew anything about the San Jose Galleon, thought to be lost in the sea after it lost a battle in Cartagena, Colombia. It took modern deep sea diving to uncover one of the most famous shipwrecks in history. On November 2015, the ship was discovered with assistance from a robotic submarine called the Remus 6000 under the command of the US Woodhull Oceanographic Institute. The vehicle descended to an astonishing 6 kilometers deep, enough to discover the San Jose and take multiple photos of the galleon. Scientists managed to distinguish the ship by its special cannons bearing dolphin engagements. But just why was the San Jose so popular to begin with? The Spanish galleon had disappeared into the Caribbean Sea after a battle with the British in 1708, taking with it 600 people and up to $20 billion worth of coins and jewels. The fascination with the shipwreck may have been intensified by the Nobel Prize winner and Colombian author Gabriel Garcia Marquez. He wrote about it in one of his famous books, Love in the Time of Cholera, stirring the imagination of millions of fans everywhere. Thomas Heracleon The question whether Atlantis, the mythical island lost under the seas, existed or not may never find an answer. But the existence of entire cities that we found no trace of on land have been elucidated thanks to deep diving. It stands to prove that after 1,000 years underwater and layers of sand, the city of Thonis Heracleion at the edge of ancient Egypt was revealed to the world. It was in the early 2000s that a group of divers randomly stumbled upon a large fragment of rock in the seabed, the first of six that would follow. It turned out that the pieces were part of the long-lost city because temple ruins, pottery, jewels, and other treasures were soon found in the same place. From here on, an entire project to uncover the city began, using a side-scan sonar as well as a nuclear magnetic resonance magnetometer to pinpoint the presence of large objects. The Thonis Heracleion's discovery is yet another testimony of today's technological advancement and human adaptation. Giant Jellyfish in yet another incredible encounter during deep diving, two divers came across the largest jellyfish ever photographed in the UK. Dan Abbott and Lizzie Daly were documenting marine encounters for a week and were supposed to film blue sharks when they accidentally met an even more humbling creature, a giant jellyfish. These gentle giants can grow up to 35 kilograms with bills of almost one meter in diameter. Ms. Daly later said she had her face in some kelp when she looked back and noticed the jellyfish. Only by then getting closer did she realize how enormous the creature actually was. You'd think she'd be a bit scared, but it turns out the giant jellyfish are not actually considered dangerous, with only a mild sting. They are indeed gentle giants. Underwater River If we were to pick only one unbelievable sight out of all, it would be this one. Divers were always aware of the strange things they can encounter below the water's surface. Even so, no diver ever expected to find an underwater river. I know, that hardly seems plausible, but today, thanks to divers' explorations of the sinkholes of the Yucatan Peninsula, we know that underwater rivers do exist. The sinkholes were found to be full of treasures from Mayan artifacts to incredible caves. However, the most astounding phenomenon discovered in the Cenote Angelita sinkhole was the eerie underwater river hidden just 100 feet below. If you're wondering how the river formed, so did we. It appears it was created due to different densities of water. The first 29 meters are formed of fresh water, while the layer below contains hydrogen sulfide, which is heavier. When the two meet, a cloudy phenomenon resembling fog is created, giving the river a magical appearance. That's the kind of discovery that shakes up everything we know about how the ecosystem works. Gold Treasure Sometimes diving feels like winning the lottery. That must have been the feeling for Zeke Feyer and his team when they stumbled across a 2,000 gold coin treasure, the largest ever found in the region of Caesarea, Israel. Interestingly, Zvika had scuba dived in the area a lot of times before with no clue of the treasure that waited to be discovered. First, he saw a glimmer in the sand of the ocean floor, which had just been stirred up by the previous night's violent storm. He expected to find a discarded sweet wrapper, like a chocolate coin, but instead, he found a real Arabic gold coin. 
Sweeping more and more sand aside, Zvika found another coin, and then another, and another, until he realized what he stumbled upon. Together with the Israeli Antiquities Authority, the divers recovered an entire long-lost treasure of 24-karat gold. It was later revealed that one single coin would cover a one-month salary for a military soldier, so the entire treasure could have been used to hire a 2,000-soldier army for a month. Yonaguni Jima City Ruins Maybe one of the most fascinating underwater discoveries, the submerged city ruins of Yonagumi Jima in Japan have been the subject of arduous debate. Far back in 1986, a local diver first noticed the Yonagumi formations, leading to an endless conversation about their origin. One side of the argument is that they represent structures left behind by a vanished Pacific civilization called Mu. Divers have described and photographed various things resembling a sphinx, a pyramid, castle ruins, five temples, and a large stadium, all connected by roads, water channels, and walls. And hear this, the ruins could date back to at least 5,000 years ago. On the other hand, there's the argument that all the major features and structures of the place are nature-made, just basic geology and classic display of sandstone for an area with a lot of tectonic activity. Whichever side is right, the place remains a fascinating site and continues to attract tourists and researchers from all around the world. The Order Cave Cave exploration is one of the favorite activities for many divers. It takes places like the Order Cave to hook divers in an endless appreciation of the ocean. Deep in the bedrock underneath the Ural Mountains in Russia, this is one of the longest underwater caves we've ever discovered. But not only does it offer hours and hours of exploration, the visibility here is one of the most pristine on the planet, matching the sinkholes of the Yucatan Peninsula. Don't worry though, you won't find any anacondas swimming around in these waters. It seems that the clarity is given by the gypsum rock, which filters the water. It's also incredibly cold, at only 4 degrees Celsius, making it suitable for dry suit diving only. The Lion City Finally, we arrive at the second last exciting underwater discovery on our list, and this one tells the story of architectural mastery. The Lion City came under the attention of officials in China after realizing that 50 years had passed since the city sunk and left it completely intact. The crazy story about the Lion City is that it was submerged on purpose when the Chinese government decided to build a new hydroelectric power station and they required a lake. I bet you didn't hear that before. Today, the city lies undisturbed in the Quandao Lake with its houses, paved roads, arches and temples like it was kept in a time capsule. The site of the once opulent city is now open to local tourists who want to dive around and wander at the historical treasures. While it's a shame that such a city had to be sunk, one can at least take solace in the fact that they can now visit an underwater museum. Giant Anaconda Some dive in the hope of discovering archaeological treasures. Others, however, have more of an adrenaline-triggered wish to dive with sharks. The second category includes diver Bartolomeo Bove, a professional underwater videographer and shark diver. But coming face to face with the largest snake in the world was a special experience even for risk taker Bove. And hear this, on purpose too. It appears there's a specific place, the Formose River in Brazil, where people go to swim with the anacondas. Normally, anacondas prefer murky waters, but for some reason they also thrive in the crystal clear waters of this river, making it the perfect place to photograph the magnificent snake. The specimen found by Bove and his partner was particularly stunning, a 23-foot-long female of nearly 200 pounds. As it turns out, the female was actually curious and friendly, getting close to the divers and inspecting the camera before swimming away. Bove described the experience as unbelievable, adding, no words can do justice to the sensations that I was really feeling. Skeleton Lake There are some days when you find lost valuables like jewellery in lakes, but then there are those days when you find skeletons emerging from a lake which haunt you for the rest of your life. No, this is not just a figment of imagination, but an actual occurrence which took place in the Rupkund Lake in the Uttarakhand state of India. This shallow two-meter-deep lake revealed jaw-dropping 200 skeletons, where the bodies still had flesh, leather clothing, and jewelry on them. After analyzing, it was found that the skeletons were 1,200 years old. But why weren't the skeletons found earlier, you might think? Well, it's observed for at least 11 months the lake is totally covered in a thick blanket of ice and snow. So, when the skeletons were discovered, scientists were totally baffled with the view. So, next time when you want to spend a jovial time near the lake, take it with a grain of salt because you never know as to what can be found.
Legos. Not just the bottom of the ocean is terrifying or interesting, but sometimes a few things pop up out of the ocean and make their way onto shore. This time, it's not any living creature, but something that's non-living, yet very famous. One fine day in October 2011 in Florida, an 8-foot-tall, 100-pound fiberglass Lego man was found floating on the Siesta Key Beach in the south of Sarasota. The front of the Lego man had a green torso which read, No more real than you are, and on the back, number 8 was etched with the words, Ego Leonard. But this is not the first time that such large Legos were randomly found floating on the surface, where it's been observed that earlier these Legos were found floating in the beaches of not only England but also the Netherlands. In 2012 and 2014, the Legos had been seen floating yet again in the beaches of California and Japan. Pretty intriguing, isn't it? Which is the most strange or terrifying creature or thing you've witnessed in the ocean or the surface? Let us know in the comments below. Giant Oarfish Undoubtedly, the giant oarfish's physical credits are what make it the most weird inhabitant of deep waters. Oarfish can grow longer than a school bus and have shiny silver skin with long red oar-like pelvic fins and a long red dorsal fin that rises as a mane-like crest on the top of its head. Those fortunate enough to have seen them at the sea surface often mistook it for a sea serpent. Their unique appearance has made them so mysterious that Japan even includes the creature in its folklore. Traditionally known as Ryugu no Tsukai in Japanese, or the messenger from the sea god's palace, oarfish are long regarded as omens of natural disasters. Sighting an oarfish washed ashore in Japan is thought to be a bad sign, as it's commonly believed that the oarfish is a harbinger of earthquakes and tsunamis. The myth became more popular when more than a dozen oarfish washed ashore on Japan's beaches the year before the 2011 Fukushima nuclear power plant disaster. But scientists dispute such claims. They believe that global warming or subtle changes in the Earth's crust could cause the current to stir and push creatures at the bottom to the surface. Giant Crucifix Lake Michigan has a reputation of its own, where it's renowned to be one of the five great lakes of North America. It's also renowned to be the only lake that's located totally in the United States. For the Chicago Millennial, it's a popular beach destination, but there's more to this lake than just young kids having a jovial time. In the bottom of the lake lies a humongous crucifix, which literally weighs a whopping 1,800 pounds. No, the crucifix is not an ancient monument, but was deliberately placed in the bottom of the lake in 1962 by the officials as a memorial to those that lost their lives in the water. It was initially dropped 65 feet deep in the bay, but later in 1986, it was moved to its new spot, that is, just 20 feet under the surface. Presently, it's become a popular tourist destination where in 2015, more than 2,000 visitors walked by on the frozen bay in order to see the giant crucifix frozen in time. Argyronita aquatica Spiders are already terrifying enough and walk the landscapes with their revolting tentacles, but Mother Nature decided to evolve these creatures and give them the ability to breathe on the water, too. Yes, you heard it right. The Argoranita aquatica makes up its own makeshift gills by capturing nothing but air bubbles from the surface with the help of its web. With the air in the bubble, the spider breathes in and swims in the water. Since the bubbles can't last for a long time, these spiders stay close to the surface in order to refill their DIY oxygen tanks. Well, although it's fascinating to see how smart they are, divers or snorkelers would definitely be terrified to bump into one. So, next time you're diving into the waters, make sure to not bump into this little guy. The Antikythera Mechanism When we try to know about the ancient civilizations like the Mayans or Incans or Egyptians, it's been observed that they were more advanced than us and held knowledge about stars and galaxies without the use of a Hubble telescope. Innovative technologies in the past have been abundant and have aided the earlier civilization shape their future. We know this because time after time, objects are found in ancient ruins or under the sea beds that tell us more about our past. One such marvelous piece of equipment was found in a rotting Roman era shipwreck beneath 148 feet of water at Antikythera. A group of fishermen in 1902 snagged out this device, which was covered in other artifacts, and since then, the device is known as the Antikythera mechanism. Observations showed the device was invented between 200 BC and 70 BC, which makes it over 2,000 years old. The archaeologists found out that this piece of technology was used to calculate dates and predict astronomical events like phases of the moon and eclipses, and they did this by tracking the lunar calendar. Currently, the price of this device is much higher than the Mona Lisa, 
which means the device is worth more than $100 million. The Antikythera mechanism presently sits at the most valuable exhibit at the National Archaeological Museum in Athens. The Pelican Eel In this list, we'll talk about the Brinicle of Death, the Black Dragonfish and the Siphonophore. But we'd also like to add one more because the ocean is filled with terrifying creatures and we just can't get enough. The Pelican Eel is another nightmarish sea creature that lurks at the bottom of the ocean with its bizarre jaw that widens large enough to exceed its entire body. But it's a no worry for the divers, since this monstrous eel prefers to stay at depths between 1,600 and 10,000 feet. It's highly rare that they'll stumble upon any humans. The only time they're witnessed is with the help of unmanned submarines. Phew, it's a near miss that we don't get to see this creature. What do you think? Brinicle of Death You never know what you might find in the sea floor. It could be a dangerous unknown creature, or something like the Brinicle of Death. Brinicle is an underwater phenomenon that's also called the Ice Finger of Death. It destroys and freezes everything that comes in its way. It's not man-made, but totally natural, where it forms only under warm temperatures in the ocean floor when compared to the surface. This is rare, but not quite in the polar regions. Since the brine is denser than water, it sinks to the bottom of the ocean, where the hollow tube of ice is created, and that is a brinicle. It resembles an icy water tornado and takes in everything under its spinning abode. So, if you happen to see brine, you know what to do. The Black Dragonfish If you're a fan of the movie Finding Nemo, then you must have seen the movie's depiction of a terrifying sea creature that lives in the depths of the ocean where there's no sunlight and it has giant teeth and a bioluminescent orb dangling from its head to attract predators. Well, the horror doesn't just stop there because a creature like that actually exists. The black dragonfish is an eerie sea creature that's named after its pitch black body, where it's camouflaged within the deep waters that range from 1,600 to 6,000 feet. These guys are found in the subtropical and temperate waters of the southern hemisphere, where they closely resemble the creature from the movie Aliens. The female black dragon is known to grow up to 15 inches long, where she produces bioluminescent coloring that's not clearly recognizable by the human eye, but those sharp teeth definitely are. Terrifying, isn't it? Captive Dugongs Dugongs are plump and goofy sea animals, and they're relatives of manatees. They make you go, ah, every time you see them. But when Delon Lim and his co-divers were swimming in the depths of the sea in the remote island of Kokoya in Indonesia, they couldn't believe what they saw. A mother and calf dugong were held captive against their will, tied to a rope in a cage. Judging by the scars and rope marks, they'd been held captive not for weeks, but for several months. The divers immediately jumped the gun to make things right and they found out a local fisherman was doing this heinous crime for just a few bucks from the tourists. The divers tried to convince the fishermen to release the creatures because they are a protected species and are also vulnerable to extinction. The fishermen agreed to do so but later it turned out to be nothing but false words. So Lim and the other divers posted the video of the poor dugongs on social media and the rest is history because the animal rescue officials set them free for good. In this cruel little world, we need more people like Lim to save the unfortunate sea creatures. So, kudos to you, Lim. The Longest Sea Animal Ever On April 6, 2020, the deep sea in Ningaloo Coast in Australia unveiled an approximately 30 new marine species. But wait, that's not all. The researchers found out the longest animal ever actually lived beneath us in the ocean's depths. This thread-like creature is not a new species, since scientists already know it as siphonophore, a little sea predator made up of identical creatures called zooids. They combine together as one large string in the ocean where they can reach a whopping length of 130 feet. But this siphonophore is unlike any other because its outer rings spread out to 154 feet long, and when combined, this creature's total length is more than 390 feet, making it the longest animal ever to swim in planet Earth. Mind-blowing, right? A giant eyeball South Florida beaches are usually places where people find seashells, tiny crawling creatures, and a shark tooth here and there. But in October 2012, a man strolling along Pompano Beach came across something out of the ordinary, a humongous disembodied eyeball. Word that a giant eyeball washed up on a South Florida beach had created a lot of buzz on the internet, with people wondering which sea monster is now swimming around with an eye patch. Turns out it's just an eyeball from an average-sized swordfish. 
Florida wildlife authorities explained that swordfish are extremely common off the coast of South Florida. The eyeball was probably taken out by a fisherman who threw it out into the water and it washed up on the beach. It's not some sort of sea monster or anything like that. Though the official explanation ended in much speculation about the mysterious eyeball, it still is a weird discovery and has left many people flabbergasted. After all, it's not every day one walks along the beach in Florida and discovers a giant lone eyeball washing up on shore. Anyhow, for being justifiably weird, gross, and mysterious all at the same time, the story earned the title of National Geographic's Weirdest Story of 2012. A Frilled Shark Say hello to the frilled shark, the most fascinating and yet terrifying creature that lives in the dark depths of the ocean. They have a jagged dinosaur-like appearance with slender bodies that can coil and contort in a serpentine way. Frilled sharks have rarely been seen in their natural environment, so rare that we didn't have any footage of them until 2004. Frilled sharks are claimed to have been living in the ocean for 80 million years. Their prehistoric origins are supposedly obvious in their primitive body. Nearly all of the rare animal's closest relatives are long extinct. Their faces are quite snake-like, and when they open their mouths, you'll be able to see more than 300 teeth over 25 rows. Frilled sharks hunt their prey as large as half of the own body length, so once you're in that mouth, you're not coming out. Frilled sharks are quite muscular, and they may be able to lunge strike, a move similar to what you'd expect from a terrestrial serpent. A fisherman in Australia who caught one of these weird beasts in 2015 told the local radio it was like a large eel and the head on it was like something out of a horror movie. It was quite horrific and a freakish-looking sea monster, a catch he never desires to make again. Ancient Pills If you haven't cleared out your medicine cabinet for a while, you might find some old, old medicine hiding there, but they wouldn't be older than the medicines found at the bottom of the sea off the coast of Italy. Archaeologists investigating an ancient shipwreck off the coast of Tuscany stumbled upon a rare find, a tightly closed tin container with well-preserved pills dating back to about 140 to 130 BC. An analysis of these ancient grey discs, about 4 cm in diameter and 1 cm thick, revealed a zinc-based composition that also included iron oxide, starch, beeswax, pine resin, a mix of animal and vegetable fats, flax fibre, coal, grains and pollens. The researchers consulted ancient sources for medical information. They think these tablets may have been used for an eye wash. Historians believe the presence of the medicine chest suggests that the ship may have had a doctor on board or at least someone trained in rudimentary first aid. Based on the tablet's shape and composition, researchers believe that these, unlike ancient scrolls, can actually provide a rare glimpse into Roman-era medicinal practices. So the presence of actual physical evidence is especially exciting. Jason Voorhees' Underwater Statue As if horror flicks aren't full of enough things that go bump in the night, here's an underwater discovery that'll make scary movie fans extra terrified. In northern Minnesota, someone created a life-size statue of Jason Voorhees, one of Hollywood's most infamous killers, complete with his iconic hockey mask and machete, and dumped it into the bottom of Crystal Lake. It's been sitting there ever since, waiting to give unsuspecting divers a heart attack. The man behind the statue, Curtis Lahr, says the statue is planted 120 feet down in the lake. Adding to the creepiness, Lahr says the lake is an old iron ore pit. He also shot a video of the submerged nightmare he created in 2013 and uploaded it to YouTube, and since then it's been giving goosebumps to internet users and freaking out people who are already scared of going into the water. Even though Jason isn't real, imagine how you would have reacted upon stumbling upon it. You would have definitely wanted to strangle it for making your worst nightmares a reality. Vampire Squid Is the vampire squid real? Yes, it's real. But don't worry, it's not really a vampire, or even a squid. Scientifically known as Vampirotheusis infernalis, or vampire squid from hell, this unique deep-sea creature gets its flashy name not because it sucks blood, but because of its blood-red coloration cloak-like webbing, and toothy-looking spines. This species lives in the nearly complete dark waters of the mesopelagic zone. When disturbed, the vampire squid inverts its cape and squirts a copious cloud of sticky, bioluminescent mucus towards would-be predators. Ew. While the posture this mysterious creature exhibits might look intimidating, astonishingly, the vampire squid from hell refuses to kill. This bizarre animal satisfies its appetite with plankton and the rotting remains of dead fish. Like most deep-sea organisms, it's very difficult to study vampire squids in their natural environment, so little is known about the behavior of these animals. Giant Knife And among other bizarre underwater discoveries in our list, we've got another one. 
a massive underwater knife that was supposedly found by a team of professional scuba divers back in 2014. Not much to explain about this mysterious image. We only see a large knife held by three divers in a place in the Earth's oceans. Ever since the image has been released by some anonymous source, it's been widely circulated across social network sites and scuba diving forums. And astonishingly, the divers holding this giant knife never made any public appearances to claim their credit on this fortuitous discovery. Anyhow, many considered it to be proof that before written history, perhaps tens of thousands of years ago, giants ruled the Earth. Or more than likely, it's a prop that ended up somehow in the ocean. But who knows for sure? Could it be the proof of existence of giant races? Let us know in the comment section what you think. Shipwreck Survivor One of the worst things that can happen to anyone on board a ship or a boat is experiencing a shipwreck. Modern vessels can combat most harsh conditions and even have emergency protocols to prevent such situations, but there are still times when Mother Nature shows its true might and overpowers the vessel. In most cases of maritime wreckage, the survival rate is very low, and any divers who are sent after the fact are mostly sent for recovering the bodies. But exceptions are there. For example, in this most unexpected case of a boat capsizing in the sea, one of the crew members managed to keep himself alive for three days. Harrison Okene, a chef on a tugboat with 12 crew members, didn't think he would be facing the worst 60 hours of his life when he sailed from the coast of Nigeria one fine day. After encountering a violent wave, the tugboat capsized and sank to an incredible 100 feet under the sea. Harrison managed to find a small air pocket in the back of the ship and managed to keep himself alive for three days. A team of divers who were sent with no hopes of recovering anyone alive were pleasantly surprised to find Harrison still alive and breathing though shaken by the whole ordeal. Luckily, they brought an extra oxygen mask and managed to rescue him, and Harrison lived another day to tell his tale. This man is incredibly lucky. Maui Statues Most of us are aware of these iconic stone statues on Easter Island, and they've caught our imagination for a long time. Traditionally called the Maui Statues, there are over 900 of them scattered around the remote southeastern Pacific Islands. While their true purpose is still shrouded in mystery, it's said that these stone monoliths were carved in the likeness of the deified ancestors of the Rapa Nui people who inhabit Easter Island. Estimates say that these statues were built somewhere between 1250 and 1500 AD and it's drawn the attention of the world at large over the years. But there is one specific Maui statue which is unlike the others, this one which rests underwater. The 23-foot-tall statue looks similar to the ones on land, but no one is able to answer what it's doing here. What was the purpose of this specific statue and how did it end up here and upright? As of now, these questions are unanswered, but one theory is that it could be a prop from a failed movie and was just dumped into the ocean. Either way, finding it in the sea raises a lot of questions which will hopefully be answered in the future. Squidworm The deep sea is a scary place by itself, but adding mysterious creatures into the mix makes the whole experience even more frightening. If you're someone who had to sight yourself a lot before diving underwater, your newfound courage would be short-lived if you were to come across this strange creature. The squid worm is probably the definition of a creepy crawly and can only be found at depths of up to 9,950 feet. These terrifying-looking creatures have only been discovered in recent times, 2007 to be exact, and even now scientists are not fully informed about them. The squid worm has 10 squid-like limbs which allows it to move through water similar to how an earthworm moves through dirt. It measures close to 3.5 inches and has a flat body. They also come with 25 or more pairs of translucent white paddles that allow it to move its snake-like body. Since they're found at such deep levels in the sea, special robots are used for capturing them and they're brought to the surface while being preserved in formaldehyde solution. The deep sea always wins the challenge of producing the most bizarre creatures known to man, and this is one of the latest entries. Giant Trash Pile While the sea swallows a lot of valuable items through wrecks, it also collects a lot of trash that humankind produces on a daily basis. The sad reality is that although we might properly dispose our trash at our homes, a lot of it inevitably reaches the oceans. This has caused a massive negative impact to the marine ecosystems of the world. Richard Horner is a passionate diver from Britain who lives in Bali, Indonesia. He regularly dives with the local manta rays and other marine life and shows regular people a peek into the life underwater. But in 2018, he made a startling discovery. Off the coast of Indonesia, Horner discovered swathes of plastic pollution. 
Ever since then, he's been documenting this prevalent problem and hopes to encourage people to find a solution before more of our planet's oceans are forever poisoned and polluted for the marine life as well as for humans. Giant Grenadier Fish Like the squid worm, there are other strange and creepy creatures living in the deepest parts of our oceans. The giant grenadier fish is one such example which mostly inhabits the benthopelagic level, which is one of the darkest and most difficult to access regions of the ocean. This fish is unlike any other, as evidenced by its incredibly wide jaw. It uses this feature to swim over the seabed and scoop up potential meals that it can find. They're also known to feast on rotting carcasses. Strangely, their presence has been noted the most after the Titanic was rediscovered back in 1985. Another peculiar feature this fish possesses is the terrible stench that it exudes. If you were to handle one of these fish, you would smell like it for days. It's kind of like getting skunked, but instead it's this deep-sea monster. So be careful around this one. The Greenland Shark Meet the world's longest living vertebrate, the Greenland Shark. They're endemic to the Arctic and the North Atlantic Oceans, and they've been known to have incredible lifespans of anywhere between 300 to 500 years. These ancient creatures are particularly hard to observe since they're found at a depth of 4,000 feet and prefer the frigid cold waters of the Northern Hemisphere. The Greenland shark, on average, can reach up to 21 feet in length and can weigh upwards of 2,200 pounds, but have also been recorded to reach as large as 25 feet and weigh a massive 3,100 pounds. They have small gill openings and fins with a thick body and a small round snout. They're also known to be blinded by a lifelong parasite that damages the eyes. But this doesn't impact the predatory skills of the shark since they rely on olfactory and acoustic sensory organs for finding their prey. What incredible creatures they really are, and they look ancient. Underwater Sculpture Swimsuits and snorkels are not usually considered appropriate attire for viewing works of art, but that's exactly what you need to gain a full appreciation of these sculptures, because they all lie beneath clear Caribbean waters. Designed by artist Jason Dakaris Taylor in 2006, the Granada Underwater Sculpture Park has been listed as one of National Geographic's 25 Wonders of the World. With currently over 75 of these installed underwater, the life-size sculptures range from whimsical figures such as a bicycle rider and a man sitting at a desk tapping away at a typewriter, to more poetic installations including the female figures of Grace Reef, who are at times hidden by the sand and then revealed again by the tides. The project aimed to build an artificial barrier where the coral and other marine life could migrate to and find a new home in an area that was highly devastated by Hurricane Ivan in 2004. More recently, 14 new sculptures have also been added to Granada's underwater sculpture park in order to pay tribute to the nearly 2 million African slaves thrown into the sea during the transatlantic slave trade. What about you? Which of these underwater sites are you dying to explore? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.